Oh yeah, this is what we're showing you today. Check out the staircase out of a photo shoot, huh? That is what we're showing you today. Giant homes that you have never seen before in this master plan community that has been established for a long time within 10 minutes from Costco, 10 minutes from HEB. You're only 30 minutes from downtown Austin, give or take on the traffic. But guys, these homes are amazing, beautiful finishes and you are outside of Austin in an up, well, not up and coming, very well established suburb. And you're only about 15 to 20 minutes from the Samsung plant, guys. And some of the deals that you're gonna find today, you won't find anywhere else. I'm gonna show you four different homes and then I'm gonna show you a great builder with a great price for the home that you're getting. You won't wanna to miss today's episode. And of course, we're gonna start out with this beauty right here and stay tuned for that last one or this one right behind me because you won't wanna miss the space that this home has to offer. Let's go. Up next, we have this beauty here. Five bedrooms, three and a half bath, almost 3,200 square feet. So if you have a big family or you just want the space, this is a great option. Actually, this exact home that I'm walking is for sale and the sales rep was telling me that these light fixtures are actually included with the cell, which is an upgrade in the house. So really nice. This is the study up at the front. So five bedrooms, three and a half bath, plus this study, three car garage. I forgot to mention at the beginning, you see we have a three car garage, which the entrance from the house will be right here in this door, but right now they have their offices. So I'm not gonna show you that. And then um, up there, I'll show you that later, but that's the laundry room and then access to the uh, master closet but look at this kitchen appliances included with this home again this home I know that when I usually show you the model the model is not for sale but this actual home is for sale and stay tuned till the end so that I can share the pr price with you but one of the major upgrades is that they have KitchenAid appliances which is top of the line you have this really nice extractor here going to the outside and then check out this gas stove with six burners really nice KitchenAid you have this sink again dishwasher and again really nice another cool feature with this particular kitchen is that you have a double oven so hey Thanksgiving you can put two turkeys in there and feed your entire family and the whole street if you wanted to and then of course you have the microwave up there and then we have a very spacious pantry again guys i can't believe that we're in pflugerville and i can't believe i mean i knew about this community and i can't believe that i had not brought this to you yet uh, but me that i have been here in town for a long time it's just crazy to believe that this is in pflugerville that's what I call it. Just joking. That's not how you name it, but um, let's see what's behind this door. I'm assuming it's just a coat closet. Yep. But I have a feeling that, oh no, okay. Yeah, coat closet. Really nice. Again, almost 3,200 square feet. Nice living room and you have no neighbors on your backyard. How cool is that? Now, for full transparency, so you see, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So you see how the, the walking path and then it comes this way as well. So beyond that, probably another 30 to 40 feet or more will be the other set of houses, but you still have about 150 feet from that fence, this raw iron fence, all the way over there. Um, and so you have plenty of space between you and the potential neighbors. Another thing that's staying with this house is this little uh, upgrade with the fire pit. Um, 
and the setup. So covered patios, you can see, we'll go out there in a second. And then these nice sliding doors that let a natural light in. So again, nice green belt lot. Who knows when they'll build back there, but they will be, be, be building. But if you buy this, you'll have that nice view for a long time. Let me give you this view here. Stairs right there. But again, again, look at that view. How nice is that to wake up to that? Have a drink on your patio, have a nice barbecue with your friends, family, you name it. And I mean, that couldn't be more Texas right there. Texas Plains right there. So let's check out the master next. Again, these lights are stained, these light fixtures. So nice upgrade if you like them, of course. But nice hardwood floors. And man, look at this master. The decorations won't be staying, but again, three, three giant windows letting light in. Let's check out this master suite bathroom. Nice, so you have a soap and tub, a walk-in shower over there, two sinks. It's super spacious. I don't know if you can tell from the, from the video, but to go from there to here, there's a ton of space in between, so. What do you think of these light fixtures here? Huh, interesting. They're just balls or, huh, okay. I don't know how I feel about them. But again, some people out there may like them. So we have a walk-in closet. Very spacious walk-in closet. Not the biggest that I've seen, but pretty nice. Now, one thing that I do like about this is that from the closet, you have access to the laundry room, which is super, super convenient. Um, behind this door, I, I didn't show you, but it's just a water room, okay? But again, I'll go out this way so you can see, yeah, you have access to the laundry room, which is really nice. And then this was the half bath, which I like it when they place it at the front of the house because here, you are, this is the front of the house, so really nice. Okay, let's go upstairs next. All right, before I go up, I just wanted to highlight the fact that they put in this nice railing here, right? This is also an upgrade. They put hardwood on the actual stairs so they didn't leave the carpet, so that's also a nice upgrade for you guys to have. But let's head up there. All right, we're up here. Let me catch my breath real quick. All right, we have made it upstairs. I like that they have these three windows here, letting a lot of light into this room. Game room, loft area for the kids. As you can see, they've done a nice, a nice way of setting it up so that you can see some of the setup that you can have, like study areas for the kids, reading areas. And then of course, if you have kids that love video games, they can just sit here, play some video games or watch movies with their friends, you name it. So up here, you're gonna have four bedrooms and uh, another, or and two bathrooms, or you should. To be honest, we are finding this out together because I haven't been up here, but here's one bedroom. Very, very spacious bedroom too you can see and then let's see what you have here you have a walk-in closet let me turn the light for you guys yeah nice walk-in closet so that is one bedroom let's check out the this is one full bathroom yeah that's a nice upgrade when they put the tile all the way up to the ceiling. It just gives it a nice, it makes it feel bigger, right? And then another thing that you've noticed, noticing that I haven't pointed out is that even up here, you have eight foot doors. Obviously you had them downstairs as well. That means that these ceilings up here, upstairs, which is nice to have it, they're at least nine, nine feet. So it makes the room or the upstairs feel a lot bigger. Then you have a second bedroom here, Roar. All right, nice, nice little decoration. You ha also have a walk-in closet. Nice. 
hard to find uh, for the kids' bedrooms or the bedrooms upstairs. So again, the master is down. You're gonna have four bedrooms up. Another view of the game room. Let's check out this other um, bedroom here. And yes, you do have another full bathroom here, so that's nice. I'll show it to you in a second. Another walk-in closet, not as big as the other two, but plenty of room for the kids. And yeah, so you have a Jack and Jill set up here, so, which is a nice option, uh, especially if you have potentially four kids or three kids. So two sinks so they don't have to fight over it. And then you have a water room with the shower. So yeah, so you have two full bathrooms and four bedrooms upstairs with a Jack and Jill setup for this bathroom. And then here's the other bedroom. Again, these are nice size bedrooms and the best part is that they have walk-in closets. So that is a nice upgrade. So up next, we're gonna talk about the price. We're gonna talk a little bit about the location as we go along with the video. And then here's a linen closet. And then if you're wondering what that door is, that is attic access. But really quickly, let's talk about the price. All right, so what is the price of this beautiful home sitting on a green belt lot, no neighbors behind you, five bedrooms, three and a half bath, with a three car garage, almost 3,200 square feet on a 65 foot lot. So you have plenty of space. Uh, you know, in your backyard and in the front of the house. The price of this home currently, and it's this actual home where I'm standing in, which is the model with a ton of upgrades. It is priced at 964,000, which it came down from a million and 64,000. Not gonna lie, a little bit surprised about the price. Um, now I know that Black Hog is a very highly sought out community uh, here in Pflugerville, Texas, which where you are about 30 minutes uh, from downtown Austin, depending on the traffic, and 30 minutes from the airport. Now, the sales report was telling me that she had three sales this past weekend because of the promotion that they have going on. Now, by the time this video is released, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you the promotion, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be available by the time this video is released, and I apologize, but still reach out to the number or the email or schedule that Zoom so that we can find out what promotions they have going on. But right now, if you contract in the, in the month of May, you would be able to lock in a fixed 4.99% interest rate, which is amazing, obviously, if you qualify for that. Just imagine the market being right around seven and you can lock in a 4.99% interest rate. Beautiful community here, which I'll be sharing more about uh, this community in particular. I think it's in a great location where you have, like, where you have a Costco, within less than 10 minutes, HEB, tons of shopping, a lake not too far, and then you have two amenity centers in the community, and I will be sharing that with you later on. But leave me a comment below and tell me what you think about the price based on what you've seen so far. Hey, and let me know, let me know how you feel. Do you think it's priced uh, correctly or do you think it's not? However, she did mention that she's had sales, and especially this year she's had sales over a million dollars here in Pflugerville, Texas with this beautiful view. But let's go to the next one. So right now I'm waiting to film this next house and it's actually, the sales rep is showing it right now as we speak. Uh, so whatever you hear in the news that there's no traffic, that these homes are not selling. I think again, let me show you. I don't know if I can sneak in a look here. So they're right over there. So. Let's get out and show you this next home. We have a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, and the price is amazing. And then the promotional rate as well. Really nice home on a corner lot. As you can see here, you have access to the trails over there. Now, if you're concerned about the state of the grass, we usually, with our help, obviously, when you reach out to the number in the email and we schedule a Zoom and we help you through the process, we will ask the builder to take care of this because 
they cannot um, sell a home like this. This is, this is definitely something that we would ask for them to fix. But yeah, let's go inside, check out this beauty and stay tuned till the end for the price and the promotional rate. All right, let's go in and check out this beauty. Tall, tall ceiling right here. Eight foot doors, but these ceilings have to be 12 feet, probably maybe more, 14 feet. Yeah, really tall. Okay, so we have, we have one bedroom up here at the front. Let's check out the closet. It's not a walk-in closet, but still nice. Again, this could be converted into an office as well, if you wanted to. Tons of light, look at this. You don't even need to turn in the, the lights in this room. So you have two bedrooms up at the front, full bathroom here. Two sinks, always like when they do that. Again, this is a quick inventory home. So this is ready to sell and they have that promotional rate that I'll share with you here at the end. Another bedroom. This is a little bit smaller, so this could be your office perhaps. Not a walk-in closet, but really nice still. So three, four bedroom, three full bath, and almost 2,300 square, actually a little bit over 2,300 square feet. Then you have another bedroom here. That is the entrance to the two car garage. So you have another bedroom here with its own private bath. So this is an ensuite setup. Let me show you the closet first. So you have a walk-in closet. So a one story home of course, um, as you can tell, but really tall ceilings. Um, and then we have a full bathroom. Look at the giant ceilings over there. I wish they would have, you know, added the tile up to the top, but that's okay. It's still a nice bathroom here. And then as we move away, you have your laundry room here. And as you can see, this builder which I think it's awesome. They like to connect. I'm pretty sure that's the master closet and they like to connect it to the uh, laundry room. So let me show you the laundry. I have to ask the sales rep, but I think these are probably 13 foot ceilings, maybe uh, 12 foot ceilings, 12, 12, probably 12 foot ceilings. But here in the hallway, they're a lot taller than that. So it feels huge. Coat closet. So as soon as you walk in from the, from the garage, so this space is cool. So they didn't add it, but you could definitely add a mud room here so that you can drop off, you know, the kids can drop off their shoes. You can drop off your shoes, backpacks, you name it. So really nice. And then this home actually has a study, a formal study, or you could potentially make this into a formal dining as well. Um, really nice study. So four bedrooms, plus a study. Uh, look at that, all that light coming in, really nice. So you have a really nice setup here. Look at all those windows. Wow. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven plus the door, plus the sliding doors. Man, really nice. You have this uh, tray ceiling up at the top, giant ceiling. Let me show you this view. So nice living room, kitchen over there. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you the kitchen. Gas community, so you have a gas stove top. And then you have the gourmet setup with a microwave and the oven. Um, one bowl sink, which is always nice space for the refrigerator and a pantry really nice man look at those sliding doors and again this is a corner lot so you get a ton of space both your backyard and a side yard so you get a lot of space here let me show you this so corner lots no neighbors to your right or left however you want to look at it yeah, really nice. 
Now the furniture doesn't come with it, <laughs> just in case you're interested in this, but it's just to give you an idea of how you can set up this home. And up next, we're gonna look at the master bedroom. We are coming into the master. There's the master bath. I'll show you that here in a second. But man, really a very lit up, I guess you could say, or as the kids would say, this home is lit, literally. Uh, tons of light coming in. Three giant windows. This is a super spacious master. Three little windows over there. So really, really nice. Let's check out this master bath. So one giant sub. So I really like the fact that they added the tile all the way. This is a, a really nice touch. It makes it feel like a spa. So walk-in shower, always nice. This is a really nice shower with a bench. They put a lot of money into the shower. That is also an, a nice upgrade, the light fixtures. And I haven't seen mirrors go up that high in a quick movement, that's nice. So it makes it feel bigger, right? Uh, so one sink for him or her, and one sink for him or her. So, so his and her sink setup. I like this little cabinet that they added for more space. You, I actually haven't seen this uh, in any quick moving homes, usually in a custom home, but not in an inventory home. So pretty cool. Water room there. And then of course the tub that I already showed you. And then we have a walk-in closet, giant. Oh wow, this is a pretty big master closet. Really nice. And then let me turn around and show it to you. And again, you have the entry into the laundry room. Let's go back this way. And let's talk about the price of this home in particular. I'm not gonna go outside guys because it is May in Texas and it is hot and humid. Uh, but the price of this home currently, it is listed at 649,000. So it is priced to sell. I like I, I actually, before I came in, the sales rep was showing it to a couple that would seem to be very interested. Now the promotion in this particular house, the promotion right now is that you can lock in a 4.99% interest rate if you qualify, uh, fixed for 30 years. Remember, and I say it in all my videos, these promotions come and go. So by the time you watch this video, this promotion may not be available anymore. But if you wanna take advantage of that or any other promotions, make sure to reach out to the number or the email or schedule that Zoom so that we can help you. Now, another thing to keep in mind, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is the perfect opportunity. If you're looking to step up, if you're looking for a bigger home, if you're looking for a different community, a master plan community, you live here in Austin or you live in Texas, not necessarily from out of state. Obviously, if you're from out of state, we can also help you. But if you live here, we can help you sell that house and then move in to another house like this one into a master plan community, maybe a bigger home, two amenity centers, close to everything. So something to keep in mind. So where are we located, guys? We are actually in Pflugerville, Texas. Some people call it Pflugerville, Texas. That's not the right word to pronounce it, but I see your confusion. We're northeast from downtown Austin, and it could take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to get to downtown Austin, depending which route you take. Actually, if you take 130 all the way down, you can actually get to downtown fairly quickly, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, depending on the traffic. You're also about 30 minutes from the airport. Easy access to the airport, especially if you take the toll road 130. But this is a master plan community with multiple builders in the community, about four of them. I'm showing you two today. 
uh, but really, really nice product in this community. The biggest master plan community in this area, bigger than communities in, in Round Rock, and then definitely bigger than Hutto. This community has actually been built in since the early 2010s. And it will continue to build, some of the sales reps were telling me, for another five to 10 years. Now, some of the amenities that you have in the community, number one, which I think it's the best one, you have two elementary schools within the community, and then you have a middle school within the community. You also have three amenity centers. Not many communities can say that with a pool, with fitness centers, with playground, volleyball courts, you name it. And they have a brand new amenity center that they're about to open. Beautiful amenity center. It's kind of perched up on a hill and you have a view of a pond. Really, really nice. And it's on the back end of the community, which is where we're standing right now. Again, this community has been building for a long time. I keep saying community. You can play a drinking game every time I say it now. Miles of walking trails all around, green spaces. One of the best parts about living here is that you're within 10 minutes from a Costco, you're within 10 minutes from an HEB Plus and another one that's coming in really, really close. You're within 10 minutes from the Stonehill Shopping Center, which has a Target, it has a Dick Sporting Goods, restaurants, a Home Depot, a gym, you name everything that you need is within 10 minutes from here. You don't have to go into Austin. You're also 20 minutes from the domain if you want to do that. And then of course, um, one of the news that the sales rep just told me is that they're actually planning to build this little commercial space within the neighborhood where you're gonna have eateries, you're gonna have a coffee shop, you may even have a brewery within the community within walking distance or biking distance. And I think that's really cool. Not a lot of places have that. Maybe somebody like Easton Park or Goodnight Ranch may have that but not a ton of places have that inside the community. What else guys, for you guys? This community is only starting, or not only starting, but there's a lot more to build in the future. Like I said, they're gonna open another phase and they're honestly projecting another five to 10 years uh, of build time. So you can definitely find opportunities here in the future. And then of course, another reason that this is a great location, not only because you're in Pflugerville, and you're close to everything, but Samsung is only about 15 to 20 minutes from here. So if you're somebody that's moving from out of town and you're gonna work for that giant plant, this is definitely a neighborhood to check out. And then from an investment standpoint, you know I'm always talking about that, uh, it's a great investment because you're so close to Samsung that's gonna bring a ton of jobs and a ton of development. The east side of Pflugerville, which is where we're located, it's developing like crazy. So overall, it's just a great opportunity to buy into a neighborhood with good quality builders and solid school districts, according to niche.com. And then finally, I forgot to mention, Lake Pflugerville is really close, which is a really cool amenity. It's a three mile loop lake, uh, really, really nice. Uh, you should definitely check it out. But yeah, guys, that's where we're located. That's things to know about the community. And then of course, if you live here in Texas, and you want to upsize or you want to downsize or you just want to change sceneries and you want to move to another area, a brand new area, we can help you with that. We can help you sell and then buy into a brand new community. And then of course, if you're coming from out of town, we can help you as well, but you have to reach out to the number or the email or schedule that Zoom so that we can help you. Here we are. This is probably the best price builder in this neighborhood for all the finishes that you get. And this is probably my favorite floor plan in this entire community. So let's check it out. All right. As soon as we walk in, you have this giant foyer loft area. Look at this. Look at these ceilings right here. Really open. Now this would be your garage, so it wouldn't be open. There would just be a wall here, um, just for reference. And then you come in and this really opens up here with the living room and the kitchen. And then you have your dining room over there. Now, a lot of what you see is standard with this builder. Now this is the model and some upgrades, upgrades have been added, but I was talking to the sales rep 
and a lot of this is standard and they have your average the average amount that you would spend at the design center so anywhere between forty five thousand to maybe sixty thousand um, dollars in design upgrades now isn't this cool this pantry right here this is standard with this floor plan so you have standard cabinets countertops and shelves and this is a giant pantry so they actually have one of these floor plans or one of these homes left in particular. I really like this area right here because you have a ton of space, storage space and countertop space. So really cool. Gas community. And then of course this really opens up here. Again, a lot of what you see is standard, not, not necessarily the finishes because you can change that at the design center, but uh, the way the kitchen looks, how much cabinet space you're gonna have, those kinds of things. So you have a gourmet kitchen here, microwaves, oven, stacked. Really nice space for your dining room table. Let me show it to you from the side. So this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 3,100 square feet. And you have four giant windows here, letting a lot of natural light. And one of the cool things about this builder is that they took advantage of the stairs and have the added the half bath. So pretty cool. No wasted space. Now let's go check out the master and the master bath. So now there's no lights on in this room right here and look at all the light that's coming in. Tray ceilings, which gives it a nice little accent, right, to the room. Giant room, this is a king size bed and you still have a ton of space here. Nice. And then we'll go into the master bath and wait until you see that master closet and what they've done to make it appealing for a couple living together. So let me show it to you from this angle. So you have a walk-in shower, giant walk-in shower, and then check out those vanities over there. So you have one and two, and then you have Linen closet. Again, a lot of standard options. You have eight foot door standard. Let me show you this view again. These giant mirrors are really nice. And then of course, giant window. Now look, check out this closet. So you have separation of space. So you have this wall, right? Where you also have more shelving. So you have one closet here or one closet space here. And then you have another one on this side. So really cool. And you have windows. I always like when the builder adds windows to the closet. But again, so you have two space and then this could be shared. But fellas, we know who's getting this space, right? But again, you have separation of space. So you don't have to be fighting over the closet. So really nice. So one here and one here. Now, and which has been a common theme in this video. So you have... The master bath that ties into the laundry room. And I think that is so convenient. And then even more space, you have this little nook under the stairs, either for a pet or you can put your Costco groceries because you're so close to Costco. You're only 10 minutes from Costco. Like I've mentioned before, 10 minutes from the HEV. So super, super convenient. Up next, we're going to go upstairs. And stay tuned for that because I'm going to share with you the price and some of the incentives that this builder has to offer. And this is by far the most cost efficient builder in this neighborhood. So you won't want to miss that. We have made it to the upstairs. So you have a game room plus a media room or a flex space. And then wait till I show you that. You can't see it yet. So again, let me back up real quick. So media or game room, really nice space for the kids. You can put a game table here. 
And then you have this flex space, which, I mean, that's why it's called a flex space, because you could have a media room, you could have another uh, game room if you wanted to. It's been made more into a study area, but really, really nice spot. Again, with this builder, Chessmanor Homes, you can actually have some customization. I can't say that word. Si, porque hablamos español. But yeah, uh, you can actually customize some of the things, uh, take off things, add things. So really, really nice. Now you have that one bedroom downstairs plus a full bathroom and a half bathroom. And then you have three bedrooms up here and two baths. So let's check out this side with a full bathroom here. You have another uh, linen closet here. So a lot of storage space in this floor plan. And then you have a full bedroom here. One of the cool things about this floor plan is that every single bedroom has a walk-in closet. And I think that's really cool. And it gives you more flexibility to you and your family. And then we make our way into the other side. You won't want to miss that. And then we have, again, another linen closet here. Really nice. And then we have, what do you think of the color? Whew, this is a lot. <laughs> a lot of flowers. This orange looks like a UT orange, not bad. But man, intense. But again, obviously this is just an example of what you can do. Uh, Walk-in closet here. Oh, let me go in so you can see. Nice. And then the final bedroom here. Oh, nope. Full bathroom. Very important. Love always wins. Love ain't life grand. Sorry, guys. It is hot outside. I think I'm getting a little delirious. It is swampy out there. If you're ready for that Texas heat, come on, visit us. So... Anyways, third bedroom, and then another walk-in closet, which I think it's, again, it's a really nice feature that comes standard with this floor plan. So a lot of standard options with this builder, which you should take into consideration when it comes to cost. Now, when it comes to the price with this builder, let's wait until I show you this right here. Guess what? This is also standard this balcony right here with this floor plan. Isn't that cool? Check this out. You can have some a couch out here, some chairs. You can come hang out, read a book, have a cup of coffee, you name it. If you have your office up here, this is such a nice setup. So the price point with this builder, you're looking at anywhere from the high 500,000s into the mid 600,000. So really, really nice price point. This will be the most affordable home that I'm showing you today. Well, and there's another one as well, but but again, really nice price point with a lot of bang for your buck. Now, this particular floor plan that we're standing in, they only have one left in this section, but then they have another face that's coming later on. So you definitely have an opportunity to build this from the ground up or potentially get a quick move in home. Now, when it comes to the incentives, depending on the home that you get with this builder, the incentives are gonna change, but more or less, Starting out, you can get a $20,000 flex cash that you can use for the lender, or you can use it for whatever you want. And then depending on the home, you could get potentially more money. But here are some of the lots that you can get in this section. Check this out. Look at this giant space, and then you have no neighbors behind you. It's pretty nice. Now, there will eventually be homes back there, but there will be a big buffer between this house and the other house. So keep that in mind. But again, guys, Great opportunity, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, one of my favorite floor plans in this community. Well, well priced between the high 500s into the mid 600,000s. Great price. You know what to do. Let's go to the next one. We have made it and you don't want to miss this entrance. Ooh wee. Oh. 
I'll just shut up so that you can enjoy this. Look at this, just, man. I see why this is their most popular floor plan. 4,700 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half bath, plus a study, plus a flex room. Check out this ceiling and chandelier. Man. Plus a media room, plus a game room, 4,700 square feet, guys. All right, I'll shut up and let's start the tour. So we have a study room right here. Really nice. Then we have a half bathroom up at the front. Let me turn on the light for you so you can see some of the decoration. Again, this is the model. So this one is not for sale, but it gives you an idea of what's possible. And I will share with you the price potential price of this home and what's going on with this house right now uh, when you'll be able to access this house. So walk-in closet. So this, I like this. So this is downstairs up at the front of the house and it's almost like an in-law suite uh, where you have your own private bathroom, um, which is nice. So if you have parents staying with you or visitors, they have their own private bath, so really nice. Again, this these stairs are just unbelievable. Man, look at this. Let me show it to you again. And then when you're walking towards the kitchen, you have this rotunda set up. Really, it's a really nice touch. And then here you have this flex room. So this could be a formal dining or a second formal dining if you wanted to. They've made it into a library, which I think it's really cool. Uh, really nice setup. Let me show it to you from this angle. So you can see it. Huh? What do you think? Man. I was honestly, my mouth dropped when I saw this. What a living slash kitchen. I'll let you take it in again. Beauty. So again, you have, you do have a formal dining over there super spacious living room with tall, tall ceilings. You have a gourmet kitchen here with KitchenAid appliances, so that could be an option. You have the double oven setup. You have a little wine bar or coffee bar here. Cabinets going all the way up. What I like about this setup is that you have another, uh, well, first of all, you have a uh, pantry here. And then you have this little nook right here. What would you do here? I'm actually not sure. I think that I would maybe convert that into a cooler or something. Uh, then you have plenty of storage here under their stairs. I always love it when builders do this. This could be your Costco room because Costco is less than 10 minutes away from you. And you have even more storage here. Look at this. You have a mud room. And then of course you have cabinets with countertop space. That would be the garage. Uh, and then you have a laundry room with tons of cabinet space, another sink. And then they've done a great job again of having the master closet tie into the laundry room. But let's go back to this kitchen and living room. Man, look at that. Sheesh. Now I'm going to show you this view. I'm going to turn around and show you this. Look at that. So the upstairs opens up to the downstairs. So you can keep an eye on the kids. You can say what's up to everybody up there. So really, really nice. Up next, we are going to go to the master. But before we do that, I want to show you these double doors here and that view. 
Now again, this home is not for sale. It's not even available in this phase, but we'll talk about that here in a second. Cover patio, but it gives you a possibility of what's to come and what you could access in the near future. Here we are in the master. Super, super spacious master. Three giant windows. I probably would have added another window here. Um, even more light. That's a giant bed and it looks small in this room. And then you are gonna love this master. Man, check this out. Look at this shower, this car wash shower with the rain shower. Isn't this nice? What do you think? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this shower. So I'll show it to you from here. Then you have linen. Yep, nice linen closet. Again, nice setup for the ladies to do their makeup. And then a walk-in closet, very spacious walk-in closet. Again, fellas, I know I make fun of this all the time, but it's the truth. This will probably be your space. And then the rest of the closet, that's for you ladies. So again, I like it when the builder ties it into the laundry room. Super, super convenient. But up next, we're gonna go upstairs. Media room plus game room plus most, more rooms up there. Let's go. Heading upstairs. I'm gonna give you this. Look at that. This little loft area, and this isn't even a third of it. Let me back up a little bit so you can see it. Nice. Let me catch my breath, guys. <laughs> but it is open to the downstairs. Look at that. What's going on, guys? Throw me a little appetizer. Watching the game. I mean, it, this is just so cool. Now, let me see. I'm trying to decide. Do I show you? Hmm. So do I show you the game room plus the meteor room or do I show you the bedrooms? What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Of course, I'm not gonna see that, but let's actually show you, let's show you the, cause these are nice, the game room and the media room. Okay, so taking a right from the stairs, you have this giant, <laughs> giant media game room here. So again, not only do you have this loft little sitting area, but then you also have this. Oof. This house, guys, 4,700 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half bath, plus a flex room, plus a study. And check out this meeting room. How cool are movie nights gonna be in this room? And you also, they have also set up a, a little bar with a wine cooler. Hello. And yeah, so if you like to drink, this is a perfect setup. If not, then you have plenty of uh, cabinet space for snacks and the kids, but yeah, let's check it out from this angle. So this is a really nice media room. Movie nights, Super Bowl, World Series, NBA Finals. Hey, have, you know, guys night, girls night, they can watch a chick flick here, you name it, all kinds of things. Special events. And then of course you have a game room here. So really nice. I'm glad I showed you that first. Okay, let's check out the bedrooms. One full bath right here, so you can see. Really nice. And then a full bedroom. Let's check out the closet. So not a walk-in, but it's still pretty big. You know, not bad for the kid. A lot of windows in this room. There's a lot of light coming in, so that's nice. All right, next, we're gonna go to another bedroom. So again, 
There should be four bedrooms up here, plus everything that I just show you. And so, no, there should be three bedrooms up here. So we have this other bedroom. And I believe that, yeah, it's a Jack and Jill setup with this other bedroom up here. So three bedrooms, two full bathrooms up here, and it does have a walk-in closet. So that's a nice upgrade. Maybe for one of the older kids. Then we have a linen closet here, yep. Really nice. So Jack and Jill setup, so one bedroom there and then one bedroom behind us. Two sinks, always a must, especially if the kids are sharing it. And we have a full bathroom here. So again, up here you have the game room plus the media room plus three bedrooms and two bath. This is a pretty, pretty spacious bedroom here. Now let's check out the closet. Yep, walk-in closet, which is nice. And I don't think I'll show you what's behind this closet here. Yeah, another linen closet. So both, oh, that's nice. That's a nice upgrade. So both uh, bedrooms have a linen closet, extra linen closet, so more storage. Now, another thing that you've noticed is that these are eight foot doors and nine foot ceilings. So that it makes the home feel a lot more spacious here in the upstairs, which is rare to find. And then of course you have this beautiful staircase and the beautiful downstairs there. But let's talk about the price of this home and then remind you of everything, the square footage and the bedrooms and the bathroom, but price up next. So what do you think? Beauty, huh? So this home in particular, it is not available right now as we speak. We're uh, the 20th of May, but in the next phase, I was just talking to the sales rep, it is gonna be available to build it from the ground up. And typically she couldn't give me a price because they don't know the pricing for the next phase, but typically she's been selling it starting in the $800,000 range. So it could be low 800s or high 800s. And that is not including the upgrades, everything that you see here, that's just the base price with, without the lot premium and without the upgrades. Now you can build this home. She said that in the next phase, they're only building a 60 foot lot product, but you can still fit this home there. She also let me know that depending on the lot that you can actually fit a third car garage. So this one has two car, but you can also, you also have the option of a three car garage, but yeah, what do you think? I mean, this view alone, it's beautiful. And that's not even showing you this dining room, but man. One of the beautiful things about living in a master plan community like Blackhawk is that you get beautiful amenity centers like this one that I know that you can see from up there as well. And you get views like this one as well. And you have access to many amenities like a Costco, a Home Depot, an HEB, the movie theater, the highway really close, you name it. And of course, according to niche.com, really solid school district guys. Hablamos español, así que los podemos ayudar. Until next time, adiós.